so hello everybody jeff beauty 87 up in here and today i know i'm super like this review my bad this is the one y'all actually gonna see tonight so my bad i didn't get back home to like two o'clock so anyway we're gonna try out the stellar foundation like i told y'all about i think this is the stellar luminous foundation don't quote me i threw the box away and it didn't really give too much information so i got the color s20 as i can see this is a really weird ass looking color so i'm like i don't know how we're gonna work this and make this look on the face but i'm probably not gonna be powdering and all that on camera because y'all know it always takes me forever to do my foundation and i still got to do this concealer review so we're gonna try this shea cat beauty what is this stay assurance concealer i got the colors sun kissed and deep autumn now neither one of these looks as dark as they do in the um box but you'll see when we get to that part i'm gonna just start off with the foundation right now so this foundation is actually on sale on sephora for 50 percent off so it's like 19 dollars or whatever um and i use the so jaded palette with this um eyeshadow um look you all will see that next that's what you will see sunday so as you can see it's really like watery and shit it's running down my hand right now i think i used two pumps last time yes we're gonna use two pumps and then i like to mix highlighter on my foundation so i'm gonna take this luminous what is this this strobing liquid illuminator and 300 deep gold and mix that in with it because i like to glow from within so this is how i'm gonna glow from within today and i finally got my hands on the brush jackie and i always use it in her videos the next one she always talks about it's on sale for like five dollars on what do you call it um oh god y'all this light i'm gonna have to like powder down my face to make this work but i'm gonna get my mixed powder and try to make it look nicer than what it does right now because right now it is not the business at all anyway <laughs> like i was saying um, I got my hands on the um, NYX Pro Buffing Brush that Jack Ann is always using in her videos or whatever. To blend out her foundation. So I was like, I'm going to try that out today. So I just got a whole bunch of new stuff to try out. I ordered a whole bunch of foundations, y'all, while um, Black Friday with you. I'm not even going to front. I ordered a ridiculous amount of foundations. Because I was like, you know, um, foundation uh, is one of my favorite things. Y'all know I love complexion. I love eyeshadow palettes. I ordered, I think, a couple of eyeshadow palettes. I don't think I really ordered them any eyeshadow palettes, though. I'm kind of proud of myself. I mainly was doing, like, foundations because I was like, I want to, you know, try out some that I had been looking at for a while that I just didn't like. The Smashbox one is back here laying down. I literally ordered that Thursday, and it showed up, like, today. I'm like, okay, Smashbox, I see you. Y'all the fastest shipping out here. I ordered the KKW foundation, I mean, um, eyeshadow palette with Mario because I got the first one. I wanted to compare it to the second one, and it showed up with some issues. So I'm waiting to see what KKW beauty is going to do about it because um i didn't pay 57 dollars 32 cents since they asked want to charge 8.99 for shipping for it to show up damaged i'm definitely not feeling that so i'm hoping they get to it and fix this problem or else we gonna have some problems because i will be on a smearing campaign if we do not rectify this situation i'm not even about the front mm, anyway I know there's another green eye look, but I have a date tonight, a dinner date with boyfriend man, and as we know, he likes green. I've said that before, so I was like, I'm going to do a green look with this old jaded palette. I actually did another look with this palette already when I went to a um, party he had Wednesday night. So I am um, I have, this is my second time using the palette, just like my second time using this foundation. Uh it looks okay like it's not exceptional if you will to me anyway i don't know if because i'm more of a full coverage girl start giving me the type of coverage i need like i can do medium and just add powders to make it full but i feel like since this is light to medium i have to do like way more than i normally do and i'm not feeling that so i'm not feeling that vibe oh i'm sorry i hope that light wasn't shining off that stop doing that la girl it's very rude no <laughs> so i'm got sun kissed in deep autumn like i told you as you can see the color on the box to me this looks nothing like this like this looks way lighter than this and this doesn't look as dark as this one either so i'm trying to figure out like which one to use i think i'm gonna just go with deep autumn though because see they look like about the same i don't see hardly any difference in them i guess i'll swatch them on the back of my hand and then we can decide which one to use so this one is deep i'm oh, sorry this is sun kissed i'm sorry if you can hear people in the background talking through my house just always talking it loud so that's sun kissed right there and this is deep autumn so let's see about deep autumn here all right um you yeah, see that one's just a tad bit darker than the other one so i guess this one will be my summer one and we're gonna go ahead and use sun kiss like i said because it seems like the, it's the lighter of the two now y'all know i normally use like two or three different uh concealers to hide my face but today we're not gonna do all that 
we're just gonna use this one just so we can get an idea how it like looks with the other stuff but i did put on my hourglass like i always do i always put on the hourglass um what do you call it uh the, the veil underneath the eyes in the color almond like i always like to put that on ahead of time before i start so i did put that on but otherwise i don't have like anything else on so we're about to see how this is about to look also, I did order stuff for you all's giveaway coming up here in December for Christmas. So, I didn't just order a whole bunch of stuff for myself, sis. I, I thought about y'all and got some stuff for y'all, too. Y'all order came in before mine did from Sephora. So, I was like, oh, well, excuse me, Sephora. Mine came in today, though. I got a whole bunch of those Bite Beauty Press um, lip glosses because they were on sale for like five something. And everybody had been talking about them forever. But I was just like, yeah, that price, though. Because I think they're like 20 or 22 dollars for lip gloss. And I was like, ooh, sis, no, ooh, no. So let's blend out this concealer. I'm gonna do the one underneath my eyes last, of course, because y'all know I like to let it sit for a while. Especially because it kind of, um, I have dark circles and stuff underneath my eyes, increasing and things like that. So I like to let it sit for a little longer to try to build up, you know, coverage, if you will. Normally, I would probably put on like two or three different concealers, but I'm like, we just try to see how this one's gonna work with this. So I just sit there just using this one. Um, mm. My first foundation looking around my mouth, like, I'm not feeling mad. And I did spot conceal before I um started, just FYI, because, like I said, since this foundation is not that great on coverage, I feel like, you know, I needed to do something extra, so I did. Okay, so, so far I'm not liking the coverage underneath it. I kind of want to put another layer on because I feel like you still see the darkness underneath my eyes. Or maybe it's just this um, eyeshadow that I put underneath there ahead of time. It's making this one look dark, but I feel like it looks dark underneath there. Oh, wait, not. Okay, that's okay. But anyway, so this is what the concealer looks like and the foundation. I'm going to set all this and you all will see how the finish looks, looks in tomorrow's video. I'm going to do some JD palette. Anyway, so, so far, the foundation is just mediocre to me. The concealer, I don't really have too many thoughts on yet, so... I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are diamonds and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.